J-Flight 23MB here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, time of this filming, this is a newer floor plan and I absolutely love it. In a sense, it's a little more smaller, condensed, compacted version of an extremely popular floor plan, the 26BH, 264BH, uh, you know, depends on uh, what version you know it as. But uh, basically, this has the same sort of bunk capacity but uh, during the nighttime, you uh, or during the daytime, you don't have to waste eight to ten foot of trailer on a bed you're not going to use. It has a Murphy bed set up that gives you two floor plans in one. More on that when we get inside. Biggest thing to mention on any J flight, it is the number one selling travel trailer out there. Period. More J flights are built and sold. Actually, uh, J flight alone, just the sales numbers on J flight alone from Jayco. Um, can trump more than some companies put out entirely between fifth wheels and travel trailers and pop-ups. Why is that? Um, that's what I want to focus on in this video. Things like, uh, you see here we have the bigger 30 pound propane tanks. That Now they're not this tall, I have the sleeve slid only about halfway down. But, uh, uh, you know, bigger 30 pound pro uh, propane tanks gives you 50% more dry camp time. Um, you know, longer between refills. Uh, nicer power awnings and power tongue jacks. It seems like anybody and everybody's giving away power awnings and tongue jacks like candy nowadays. But, do you know that there's different grades of motors in these appliances? Jayco uses a higher grade motor. Simple as that. Uh, things like their frame. They have a, a better frame design from the bottom up and everybody knows a house starts with a good frame. Why not a trailer? Same thing. Notice that they're the A-frame, the tongue portion, goes straight through. It welds directly to the I-beam. Most manufacturers, they stick the trailer on top of here instead of uh, merging it with the tongue. When you uh, stick it on top, it creates uh, a weaker flex point and it's more likely to wiggle going down the road. The more a trailer wiggles, the more those joints and fasteners are stressed. The more they're stressed, the more likely they are to fail. It's just as simple as that. A lot of times, when someone says, oh, this thing's a piece of junk, my window leaked, it's not because of the window. It's because either the, the floor gave way and it caused the whole frame to twist. So that window, uh, the frame is no longer the same shape as the window and that's what causes a leak. There's nothing wrong with that window. Actually, windows and lights are the two most expensive items in almost any towable RV, believe that. Little things like this, they still vent their stovetop hoods outside. That's, that's a really big deal. If you're cooking inside, it, it expels the heat. You don't sit there and swelter. Um, outside shower standard, and this does connect to your water heater. And it doesn't seem like a big deal, but if the kids are uh, out at the lake and they come back with that nice lake smell, you can hose them off before they get in and roll around on all of your sofas and soft goods and stuff. You see the ladder on the back. That's because this has a fully walkable roof. There's 3 8 inch tongue and groove plywood decking up there. Um, with uh, Jayco's Magnum Truss roof system. Long story short, you need to YouTube that roof system and you'll understand immediately why these things hold up. And they hold their value better. Jayco's uh, J flights here are worth more on uh, trade. They, they keep their value better. Eventually, everything will resell. Whether it's a year from now or five or 10 or 15, you will get rid of it. Don't you want it to be worth more? And check out this massive outside storage box here. This is under your lower bunk. And this is a good way to see how these are put together. It's plywood. It's not particle board. It's not OSB. It's plywood. It's a better, stronger material. And notice that even their, their support wood here is thicker. A lot of manufacturers I've seen using 1x1s. One They're using a, a, a full 2x4. That's awesome. Um, big power awning on this. I'm going to estimate about a 20-foot power awning on a 23-foot box trailer. That's pretty generous. You can't get much bigger than this awning right here. And it's push button operated. And again, like I said, the quality of the appliance matters. Let me show you what I mean. I've only got this thing hooked up to a weak battery. Not even a full source of power. You have your power awning button right here. You see how quickly this thing rolls itself up? Try to time one of these Jayco's against some of the other stuff that's out there. And you're gonna see this moves like three times faster. That's because it has a better motor. When the motor doesn't have to work as hard, it lasts longer, less chance for warranty failure. Um, you know, it, it, it all adds up. You can either pay a dollar extra today, or you can pay five dollars extra tomorrow. It's your choice. Either way, you're going to have to do it. Um, central AC in a 23-foot one-room trailer? That's awesome. That's because Jayco doesn't cut corners. Um, does this little trailer necessarily need central AC? You bet. Because back in these bunks, 
you don't get a lot of airflow back there unless you have central AC. You need that airflow back there. It's such a big deal. It's almost more important in this floor plan than some of the other ones out there. Um, your storage options in these are great. You see the overhead storage uh, above the sofa here. And I love the little hidden control center. And this is like where important things like your water heater is, is controlled right here. You don't want little kids getting to your water heater control. I know, because when I was about six years old, I burned up my grandfather's water heater when we were dry camping because I didn't know what the red button did and I wanted to find out. Kids will do that. Uh, these have all, pardon me for swinging here around, all pleated nightshades, nicer shades. And uh, let me show you something right here. I'm gonna run us back outside. Look at that window. Can you see in that window? Because I can't. But look through the window and you can see outside. These are 80% UV tinted. That means that you have privacy and your furniture is not likely to sun fade like, you know, grandpa and grandma's trailers always had. It started with a green chair that ended yellow. <laughs> you know, one of those deals. Now, they specifically worked in the Big King U dinette in this floor plan, and it's really awesome for a couple reasons. The whole thing is storage. So it is a supreme area for storage. But secondly, you can fit more people here. It's just a bigger space. It's easier to use. And if you're cooking up a storm, it's almost like an island kitchen, how close it is right here. Um, the uh, television is an option that we'll throw into most of our J flights. And this is a good time to mention, always double check our options list. Uh, for instance, I don't remember the name of this color scheme and I apologize but if your pictures look different from this video the pictures represent the actual unit this video is here to show you um, kind of just you know how these are shaped really so uh, we'll often we add the TV up here and we do list that so you can see we even publish a copy of our MSRP sheet no smoke and mirrors we even publish our pricing you know we don't have a trade price versus a no trade price if you ask us uh, a salesman for a price and the first thing you say is do you have a trade they're playing games with you period um, your uh, stereo here is also a DVD player and it's Bluetooth enabled so you can wirelessly stream music from your phone and you can, it, the, the chipsets in these are awesome. This is the tech nerd in me talking but you can be like 30 yards away with these things. It's, it's awesome. They, they can go a long ways away. Now this has the double over double bunk setup so we have a pair of big bunks awesome for maximum sleeping space uh, especially awesome if you have two kids and they want to bring friends each kid with their friend gets their own spot and Jayco uses Denver mattress brand bedding it's 50% thicker holds it better it's better quality um, all of the lighting in here all of the lighting is LED interior lighting you don't have to worry about replacing incandescent bulbs it's it's something absurd it's it's like 10 or 20 times longer lifespan on the led light elements and they're uh they're cooler they don't produce heat and they last longer um you know so they're better over time they won't eat up your battery they're less power you're still getting a full medicine cabinet in here a lot of these small bunk houses people produce nowadays they they shrink you down to just a mirror if you don't have this storage space right here then tell me where you're going to keep extra things like your shavers and your toothpaste you're gonna keep them all over the place. And every time someone gets in and out of the camper, if the stabilizers aren't down right, it'll rock and roll and stuff will fall on the floor. It's just annoying. Uh, full bathroom back here. Uh, the bathroom obviously being smaller and a little bit more utility in a, a bunkhouse floor plan like this, but that's the awesome part about this model is it's all thriller, no filler. Um, you know, the uh, Oh, we're standing right next to it. This is an eight cubic foot refrigerator and freezer, not a six. This is 33% larger, and that is standard in every J flight. You won't have to look on an options list for that because that is how they are built. You get bigger store. And, I mean, you got a camper here that could easily sleep six, eight people. You got to be able to feed them. This camper can get it done. Um, now, this obviously is the meat and potatoes of the floor plan. I was saving the best for last year. This is a Murphy bed. During the day, you really don't need that front bedroom. You just don't need it. Most of the time, it's eight to 10 feet of space you don't use. Now, in, in the brother floor plan to this, the 26 BH or 264, whichever way you want to look at it, the living room looks almost the same. You have a sideways sofa, side kitchen, and a dinette over here, right? Well, this is the same thing. So your living room's the same during the day, but you're towing less feet, less weight. You're spending less money, and at night, when everyone goes to bed in those big bunks I showed you, here's how easy this is. One hand operated, because I have to use the other hand to set up the camera. This is all there is to it. And check that out, you're camping. And that is the same full Denver mattress uh, queen bed that you get in any other Jayco. 
uh, any other J flight. How cool is that? You get two floor plans in one. Mom and dad get a full queen bed at night when they need it. Mom and dad get the nice living room they need during the day when they need it. This camper is what you need when you need it. It's like it's like a transformer. It, there's more than meet the eye. I love these Murphy beds. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hail at RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.